Senate President Ahmad Lawan has pleaded, pleaded with Nigerians to give APC another chance. He said this at a town hall meeting organized by the senator representing Kwara Central Senatorial District, Dr. Ibrahim Yaya Uluriegbe, on Saturday. He said, I also want to call on all Nigerians to give APC another chance at all levels beyond 2023. We have promised Nigerians to continue to do our best and we will not renege on our promises, Lawan said. <laughs> Scammers. These are original scammers. They are original scammers. Do you understand that? They will continue not to renege on their promises. Uh, until their kingdom come. They themselves, themselves and their children, they are just enjoying, they are going their way. They don't care. <laughs> they are already on that pedestal. That's, you know, they cannot be brought down. So all of you, who are suffering, just be following them. Eh? They will continue to promise. They will be promising you. And uh, uh, Unfortunately, we have a large number of people who are just ready to continue to follow them and to be listening to them just like that. <laughs> After all this, all these years, the Nigeria should try to support them at all levels, from local government to the federal. Well, uh, this man doesn't even have shame at all. He still has the guts to talk to people why will he not because they have a already made moguls that will say oh eh, it does not matter they begin to look for what is not eh, yes they have done this eh, let us eh, it is not somebody's fault it is not their fault oh it is the force of the past eh, regime that is what you are going to be hearing Hogala one that is to show that the hate you have for nigerian citizens god forbid your best is not good enough if you are given the chance for another change many will, will all perish it can't work this time around. APC has failed this country. People are dying on hunger, of hunger, and bandits are killing people every day. See what just happened in Plato State. What happened with those who were boarding train from Kaduna to Abuja or Kaduna, Abuja to Kaduna, whichever way. A lot of them are in the den of bandits. Up to today, they have not done anything about it. But the only thing they are telling you is that they giving you reason why they cannot say uh, go after all these uh, bandits. That's the only thing they are telling you, and this man is telling you that oh you have to continue to support them that they will continue to 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 make their promises fulfilled. Mister Senate President, please carry your bad luck. Go home. May God judge all of you. So you want Nigerians to continue supporting you so that you can do the proper barrier. Uh, for Nigerians. I personally don't even blame President Buhari and the executive arm of government. Rather, I blame the legislature for its maladministration and suffering that Nigerians have been going through for the past seven years. For the past seven years, we have a national assembly that is lame duck and rubber stamp to the executive, always playing along with the executive. If I have my way, none of the legislatures will be re-elected come 2023. And you are forgotten that it is the Buari that you are not blaming that puts him there. You think uh, he came independently or they are there independently. It is Buari that puts them there. Especially this uh, man called uh, Bajabi Amila and what was his name? And this uh, Senate president. <laughs> they are the appendix of uh, Buhari. So if you think they are going to be doing something different, you are a joker and don't forget that they are of same same buhari puts him there so there's no way he's going to act differently you are praying for masses suffering it's with son on you and your family's head robert stamp senate president god will judge you here on, on earth <laughs> so he can come back for his second term as senate president of course what do you expect let him continue with a it's a siloquid with the spirit of innocent Nigerians, they have extinguished through various means. We can see that uh, your promises are really being followed to the fullest. Another chance to sink whatever that is left of the country. Who is going to be listening to you people? Hey, my goodness. Who is going to be listening to you people? Uh, 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 you're not going to be listening to them, but we have a lot of people that will be listening to them. We have a lot that will be listening to them. 
they are there and they will tell you that they will justify the statement of this man they will justify the statement of this man you see is it not say some nigerians uh we'll be happy if all these guys expressing their opinion will come out to vote rather than play football on the streets on the election day or play the game of drafts under the shade of a mango tree then let's everybody everybody will run out of nigeria god forbid you people are going no more you are going nowhere don't forget the uh, don't forget they are already willing to by the time they bring a gary and a kuli kuli and give them 1,000. Some of them, they don't even give them up to 1,000. Some 200. Some people, they even promise that they are going to give them something at the end of the day. They even do that on credit. They will follow them. <laughs> you think a, a majority of Nigerians are, so, are like some few ones who can really stand their ground. No. Majority of Nigerians cannot stand their ground. That is the problem. They can never stand their ground. They will fall for all of these things. You want Nigerians to give you more chance so that all the poor masses will die in the country. Wicked man. They don't care. If really these guys do care about say, human lives, all the people who are in the den of the bandits, bandits, they would have been talking about them more and more. You know, see, that uh, it is only the election they are talking about, and that is what this man is fond of doing. Tinubu, it is only election, election, election. <laughs> only election, election, election. Hmm. They are always talking about when it comes to the welfare of the people forget it <laughs> they they don't have that time they don't have that time it's just it's just so ridiculous and the painful aspect of it is that the nigerian people majority of them fall for this a uh, cheap a uh, blackmail from these uh, politicians i just wonder if all these so useless leaders go through social media and read comments because i still can't get it it's like they don't know they have failed woefully. There's no grade to give fools. God forbid, batting. That kind of mistake again for another eight years. For another eight years. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. For I am not a Lawan, APC, or Buhari. Okay, you want Nigerians to give you a chance for prolonged economic hardship. <laughs> you think so? We will accept if only you will all withdraw your children from foreign schools. Stop all these allowances. Stop foreign medical trips. Stop using bulletproof cars. Freedom to protest. Freedom of speech. They will tell you that, say, oh, everyone is entitled. You cannot do that. You cannot. Ah, they will begin to tell you all of those rubbish. They will begin to tell you all of those rubbish. They will begin to tell you all of those rubbish. That they are. It is not possible. It is not possible, but... When it comes to their own welfare, it will be so possible. Hmm. It will be possible. So, if you give them this condition, they will not accept it. They will not accept it. But don't be bothered. Don't worry yourself because these uh, politicians, they already have some Nigerians that are doing their bidding. Some Nigerians that are doing their bidding. Hmm. Yes, that is why they always have confidence. That is why they have confidence. And they continue to do what they are doing. They have confidence. So irrespective of the condition I go to give them, they, will not go, they are not going to accept it. They are not going to accept it at all. It's unfortunate. At times you just say, what kind of a thing is this? 